Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here today with Clint Needham at Ball and Wallace University. Clint, what do you got going here? You are uh, head of the composition here and composer in residence. I am, yeah. We're gearing up for our um, Focus Festival, and we have that coming up in two weeks. Chris Theofanidis will be on campus, and we're just rehearsing away, trying to get ready for that. So what ensemble is this that you guys are rehearsing? This is a sort of makeshift new music ensemble. We don't have an official one here. So um, I thought it was a good opportunity to start trying to uh, put one together. And so the Focus Festival seems like a perfect time for that. And uh, doing one of Chris's uh, early work seemed like a very perfect uh, start to that. So you have a lot of opportunities for students to do new music, new contemporary classical music here, don't you? Uh, we do, yeah. We have six concerts a year that student composers are on. In addition to that, we have the Focus Festival that comes around every other year. Um, we have composers working with dancers uh, through our dance studio, and they're writing music for that, and that runs four concerts a year. So, yeah, they're writing a lot. They're also writing for professional um, groups and theaters downtown, so they're very busy in the best way possible, yeah. Talk about the state of contemporary classical music these days. Some people think that it has no place because it's not so popular in you know, classical music, but really you're hearing it all over, aren't you? Soundtracks, films, videos. Well, you know, um, I think it's just shifted, uh, and this is a pretty recent discovery on my part, um, or at least coming to it a little bit recently, that composers are, are depending less on the orchestra as their medium, because um, there's a whole history, you know, you're competing with Beethoven and Mozart and all the other amazing composers, but a lot of composers now are taking ensemble writing into their own hands, they're performing their own pieces. Um, the, the Pulitzer Prize winner this year is a member of a vocal ensemble that she wrote a piece for, and uh, you know, it's an incredible piece. So I think composers are just changing um, the medium, right? It used to be uh, orchestral music made you um, artistically relevant, and that's not the case anymore. I think composers are writing for this ensemble and, and a whole host of other ensembles. What do students get to do here? How involved do they get to be in contemporary music? Uh, really as much as they want to be. So Rachel Hacker, who's playing behind me, is one of our flute majors. And she actually wants to go on and major in contemporary flute playing. So she studied with me this summer, and we did a whole lot of contemporary flute repertoire. Um, a lot of the students behind me are composers, and they're doing a lot of new music. and. It seems to be, the last two years I've been here, it seems to be rather infectious. Like, people are very excited about it now. What is this cool room you guys are practicing? This is part of the newly remodeled uh, music conservatory yeah, here. This is, this is the new percussion studio. And as you can see, there's a whole host of percussion instruments around me. And, and there's space here to do ensemble work. So it's an amazing room, just a cool, cool room yeah, that we have, part of the new renovation. What do you do here as composer in residence? What is your role? So my role is to, to teach, and then in addition to that, the in residence part is to create um, music for ensembles and faculty and students alike. Um, I do about one or two pieces a year. Last year, my first big work was with the chorus, and we went on tour with that. And uh, so this year is the wind ensemble, and who knows next year. Clint, thanks for taking time out of your rehearsal to work, talk with us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.